Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I've managed to get a hold of something really cool. This is the brand new Joshua Bardwell 4-in-1 ESC and the redesigned Joshua Bardwell F4 V2 flight controller. Both of these were made in collaboration with Race Day Quads and Joshua Bardwell. If you're into FPV, you're gonna know exactly who Joshua Bardwell is. And if you don't, you might wanna start watching some of his videos. Basically, he's the FPV know-it-all. When it comes to FPV, he knows pretty much everything there is to know. And since he's an absolute perfectionist, I won't even have to cover how to wire this thing up. He literally wrote the book on this flight controller. He covers everything from how to install beta flight to soldering. So I'm gonna leave a link to the manual in the description. So first, let's take a look at the ESCs. These are 30 amp BL Heli 32 ESCs with a burst rating of 40 amps. They can handle three to six S and they're made to plug directly into the JB F4. Now there's no main current sensor, but each individual ESC has a current sensor. So you can get stuff like ESC telemetry and set current limitations in BL Heli. It weighs 13.1 grams. It's got 30 by 30 mounting holes. And best of all, these ESCs are only 50 bucks. Right now, that's pretty cheap for BL Heli 32 ESCs. So I'm gonna be testing these out. They're going on my new build, so I should have some flight footage coming soon. Now let's check out the newest version of the Joshua Bardwell F4 V2 flight controller. I've wanted to try this flight controller since it came out, but I noticed people were having problems with the voltage regulator and the OSD circuit. But now it looks like they've addressed that problem by completely redesigning things. They've also increased the max amps on the current sensor from 130 to 240 amps. Those are the main differences from the V1, so we'll see how it holds up. Now I'm not gonna cover how to wire this up because one of the absolute best features of this flight controller is the manual. Now he's covered absolutely everything you can think of. There's no other flight controller out there with better documentation. So let's look at the specs. This is a F4 flight controller that can handle three to six S. It's got a really cool layout that makes it easy to wire up a 4-in-1 ESC or individual ESCs. It's got a centrally located gyro, which means that the gyro is in the dead center of the board and it really shouldn't be any other way. For your camera and VTX, it's got both 9V and 5V filtered output. Altogether, it's got two 5V BECs, a 3.3V, VBAT pads, and the filtered 9V BEC. This board only weighs 7.3 grams and it's got camera control, smart audio, LED pads, buzzer pads, black box, Betaflight OSD, and it even comes with vibration dampeners. It comes pre-flashed with Betaflight, but you might want to update the firmware using the Target CL Racing F4. Honestly, this board has so many features that I probably left some stuff out. So check out the video description. I'll leave a link for the manual and any other information you might need that's not covered in the manual. So this seems like a cool combo. I can't wait to try it out. Joshua Barbwell knows his stuff. Race Day Quads knows their stuff. And I've been waiting for Joshua Bardwell ESCs. I honestly had no idea that they'd be priced this cheap. And when you look at them, they look really similar to the Airbot Typhoon 4-in-1. And those performed great for me until I destroyed mine. So stay tuned. We'll see how this stack works out on my new build. I got so much stuff going on this build that I'm probably going to have to separate the video into segments. So I'll leave a link to the playlist at the end of this video. So this is the first look at the brand new Joshua Bardwell 6S stack with BL Heli 32 ESCs. If you got any questions, just leave them below. I'll do my best to help. And as always, thanks for watching.